so glad to be here with Me you. Me too. I'm so excited about this topic. Mind-body connection with weight loss and fitness is like the mother load for me in terms of what I'm passionate about. I love it and I'm so excited to talk to you about this. Um, this is the first installment and what I want to talk to you today about is telescoping. This is the first step about really coming to terms with what you want to create, the body that you want, the fitness level that you want. The first step I think is to look at how your life is going right now and to telescope that out, right? So think about it this way. This is a perfect way to think about this. Look at your life right now, the behaviors that you're engaging in, and let's let's. this can be applied to anything, but let's make it relevant to fitness and weight loss. If you telescope out from this moment on a year from what you're doing, the actions that you're taking today, and telescope that out to a year from now, five years from now, 10 years from now, are the actions, are the foods that you're eating, the way that you're exercising, the behaviors that you're engaging in, is this giving you the body that you want and will it give you the body and the level of fitness that you want a year from now, five years from now, 10 years from now? What does your health look like? If you, if you telescope this out 10 years from now, how is your health based on the behaviors that you're taking today? Because the actions that you're taking today in this moment are creating the life that you have not only now, but in your future. Absolutely, absolutely. And the other question that we really want to pose to you is, are you willing to be your brilliant, beautiful, sexy, courageous, amazing self? Are you willing? Right? And that's, that's a huge question. So, and, so it, and we always think, yes, of course, I want that, right? Mm -hmm. But really think about that. Are you willing to shine bright? Are you willing to be radiant and beautiful and sexy in this moment? To step into that. Right? And we just want to share with you one of our favorite poems by Marianne Williamson. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we were powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, handsome, talented, and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as, ch as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God within us. It is not just in some, it is in everyone. And as we let our light shine, we consciously give other people permission to do the same. As we, liber as we are liberated from our fear, our presence automatically liberates others. I love that. I think that being an inspiration to other people is such a beautiful path to walk. And it's your job and yes. your life purpose to step into your most beautiful body because this body is your vehicle that you carry with you everywhere. It's the first impression that you give people. It's, it's the way you feel when you engage in anything that you do. Take care of this beautiful, beautiful vessel that you've been given. Make it so beautiful. Turn it into a Lamborghini that can take you anywhere you want to go. And so if you are willing to do this and to step into this, please join Sunny and I in this journey as we'll take you on. We're going to be continually bringing you messages via email and um, more videos that will help you in this journey to reclaim that. And visit our website. It's live-on-purpose.net. Until then, be well, be healthy, be radiant. And beautiful. <laughs>